Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all the puzzles I completed for the month of February. There's not too many to go through, but they're still an interesting mix. And at the end of the video, I'll be letting you know which puzzle was my favorite and which was my least favorite. And if there's any you're curious about, be sure to check out the description box below where I'll have all the puzzles listed. So there's not too many puzzles to get through for February, just this kind of smallish pile here. Uh, there's still an interesting mix, like most of them were sort of featured on Instagram, uh, but a couple came from the New South Wales State Jigsaw Puzzle Championship. They were the ones we did in the competition and that I got to take home, so that was pretty cool. And I think I just, there's another one that I just did because I felt like it. So let's take a closer look. So this first one was gifted to me by a puzzle company called Dr. Puzzle. Um, they make wooden puzzles and have really gorgeous designs. So I feel very lucky to have been sent uh, three of their puzzles actually, but this is the only one I've done so far. So this one's called Love and it's part of their Miracles collection and it's 330 pieces. And yeah, it's a this beautiful love heart shape uh, with just gorgeous imagery, like these beautiful blue birds with little crowns and this glowing heart and sun in the middle and all these like all this foliage and all these pretty roses and other flowers and insects and all these little keys and gems and stuff. So yeah, really gorgeous. And even like the way it comes packaged is just really special and like a really luxe experience. So not only is the box very like nice and sturdy and um, the pieces sort of like you open up this kind of paper and then inside you find like a nicely printed sort of leaflet and like info about the company and the puzzle. And there was also a scented candle like in a little porcelain container included with a little lid. So really like Lux, I've never sort of experienced anything like it. I just thought that was a really special touch to include the candle. So you can burn that while you're puzzling for just a really nice atmosphere and like a really relaxing experience, which is what I did and, and it was. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. I thought it was really cool. Um, and then the pieces themselves are pretty special. So if you've done wooden puzzles before, you probably know that they tend to have like lots of interesting shaped pieces, but also whimsy pieces. So like uh, shapes that are sort of uh, fitting the theme of the puzzle. And so this had a ton of whimsy pieces, like heaps and even the non whimsy pieces were pretty interesting shaped. Um, but yeah, the pieces like the wood that was used is like very thick, like six millimeters, I think it was. Um, so very like super chunky um, and yeah, lots of beautiful shapes. Like they've got some here, like lots of little uh, angels, cupids, love hearts, birds, people, like teddy bears, like <laughs> flowers, things like that. Um, but uh, I feel like some of the magic actually happened when you finished the puzzle and then you turned it over because I should hopefully have a picture of that, like the reverse side somewhere on the screen if I can fit it. Um, yeah, the a bit, if you've ever done a uni dragon, they have like whimsy pieces that then make up sort of like mini puzzles within the puzzle. This was a little bit like that. So when you turned it over, the whole love heart shape was sort of uh, broken into like sections and each section had whimsies that sort of formed like little scenes of like uh, a pair of like, I guess like a husband, well, I guess a husband and wife because one of the scenes was them sort of getting married. So it had like this couple or like a pair of lovers who, you know, it shows their meeting and then like getting married, having kids, getting old together. Yeah, it was really like, um, I guess this really elaborate and intricate, just very like a very clever design and just, yeah, really beautiful design. So you could like travel around the love heart and see the different sort of stages of their, their love together. So yeah, it was really like romantic and such a beautiful puzzle. Definitely um, yeah, perfect as like, uh, you know, Valentine's gift or, you know, to a new couple or something like that. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, so I'm definitely excited to do their other puzzles that they gave me. They're really gorgeous images as well. And they also come with candles. And so, yeah, I'm really excited to sort of see like what the whimsies are for those. And if they have like a bigger sort of story or mini puzzles on the back as well. Um, anyway, I think I've rambled on long enough about this one. Uh, yeah, really liked it. Just thought it was super special and just a really yeah gorgeous puzzle. And then the next one was gifted to me as well to sort of uh, try out. Um, this is by Enjoy Puzzle. Um, I believe they're like a Romanian brand. Might be wrong. <laughs> and this is 1000 pieces um, and it's called, if I can find the name, uh, Knitting Rainbows. 
And Enjoy have like a lot of very colorful designs. I mean, they've got actually on the back of this, like some of their designs, including, yeah, they have a lot of sort of rainbow ones and gradient ones. Um, but yeah, I was really like uh, pleased to be able to try this one out. I think it's like such a cool design and I end up making a reel from this one, like a time-lapse reel on Instagram. Um, but yeah, so this one, I was very pleasantly surprised with the pieces and like the quality um, because I discovered that they are basically or exactly the same as Magnolia puzzles. So if you've ever done a Magnolia puzzle, this brand is the same, like even the box size and shape is the same. The pieces are the same. So yeah, the pieces are like a uh, medium sort of thickness with a gray board. There is a little bit of dust with these puzzles, um, but the piece fit is really good. You can move sections around. Um, they, there's like no false fits at all. Um, and the pieces are kind of like this box actually, very smooth feeling and quite matte. I think there was a teeny bit of sheen, but like, again, that would depend on your lighting. But yeah, very, very matte, yet yeah, perfect fit, like such a comfortable fit. Um, and yeah, just such a cool image. So yeah, I really enjoyed Enjoy <laughs> um, and would definitely do more puzzles from this brand. So if you, I think if you're in Europe, you can get a hold of these. If you're in Australia, unfortunately, they're a bit harder well, I don't think anyone stocks them here and I'm not sure they actually ship here. This was kind of like a sample tryout, um, which I can't talk too much about because hopefully we might end up, uh, the place that I tried this out for will hopefully end up stocking them. I hope so, because I'd love to do more of them. But yeah, if you're in Europe, you might be able to get hold of these very easily and I would definitely recommend trying them out. Same with Magnolia. But yeah, really cool. Definitely enjoyed it. And then next up we have oh, lots to choose from. Okay, we've got a Buffalo Games one here. This is part of the Amy Stewart collection and it's called Birds, Butterflies and Blooms Map. So it's, and it's 1000 pieces. Um, and yeah, it's this beautiful like old fashioned ornate map with all these like, like a vintage style map with all these like sort of almost, yeah, vintage Re kind of realistically drawn butterflies and like hummingbirds and other birds, but they're all very colorful and yeah, very, very pretty. Um, yeah, this was like just a beautiful puzzle. Um, really like the image. I don't really like map pu puzzles, but that being said, I <laughs> seem to have quite a few in my collection, go figure. Um, but you know, this one was very pretty. So like, how could I say no? Um, but yeah, just really beautiful and it has a real vintage vibe to it and yeah, just very, very pretty, lots of pretty elements and definitely a little bit tricky um, because of all the map stuff and like flowers and things, but definitely well worth it. Um, and yeah, just kind of your usual Buffalo Games quality, which sort of to me is a bit so-so, like the pieces are generally like thin to medium, cardboard backing, which is great. And the pieces fit together pretty well. Like sometimes it's a bit inconsistent, like some of their puzzles, I find the fit a little bit loose other times it fits together like well enough for you to pick up sections. It's always a little bit hit and miss I find. Um, and they usually do have a little bit of dust, but I also find the surface to be a bit too glossy sometimes. So sometimes under my lighting, it makes it a little bit more tricky to put the puzzles together, but it's still pretty good. Like I, for the price point, I think, especially if you're in North America, I think in, like in the US, the Buffalo games are quite inexpensive and you can, they have really great designs, including this one. So yeah, you can definitely get like a, I think good value for, good puzzle value for your dollar, I guess. Um, but yeah, despite, you know, a few little cons with the quality, I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I really love Amy Stewart designs. So yeah, just a really beautiful one. And then we've got uh, a couple here from an Australian brand called La La Land. So these are the two that I did in the state puzzle competition. Um, so this is one that I did as in like the pairs category with my friend Tash. Uh, so it's 500 pieces and it's called Tribute Artists, but it's a Frida Kahlo image. And yeah, just uh, really beautiful, very ornate and lots of flowers. This brand really loves uh, Frida Kahlo and has quite a, there's quite a few Frida Kahlo puzzles like in their sort of collection and they love flowers and stuff. And yeah, they just have some really beautiful imagery. So yeah, this lovely portrait of her with a parrot and beautiful floral headpiece and very sort of ornate border. And then we've got like a cute monkey in a shirt and a toucan and these sort of very nice like ornate tiles. 
across here and then all these beautiful flowers and leaves and things so yeah there were some parts that were tricky but um together we did it pretty quickly i think we did this one in like about 50 minutes together which I, we were very happy with we were like cool yep under an hour we'll take that so yeah very happy with it um so i quite like la la land they have i mean beautiful images um and the quality is quite good too so the pieces do have paper backing, which isn't my favorite, but uh, you know, for the most part, I don't seem to have any problems with their puzzles with peeling or bent pieces or anything. I always seem to uh, have a good experience with like the quality. Um, and the piece fit is a bit more like on the crumbly loose side. So it is a little bit tricky to pick up sections. Um, so in the competition, like we both had done their puzzles before. So we kind of knew to be a bit more strategic about where we built sections so we didn't have to like rebuild like lift them and rebuild them again um, and the pieces themselves are quite nice and thick um, and they have quite a nice kind of like beveled uh, like edges like almost rounded edges to them like they feel quite nice and luxe and they almost feel a little bit like glossy or varnished so they can have a little bit sh bit of sheen sometimes depending on your lighting but for the most part they're yeah very nice and they just look they're just yeah nice puzzles and just have beautiful yeah beautiful artwork so yeah really like this one and then the other one by them um, was the one i got to do in the individual category um, which i really like this design so this is 500 pieces as well um, and it's called tropicana australiana and yeah it's very very pretty um, so it's got all these like these three beautiful colorful birds um, which are like different australian I think native birds to Australia, I believe. Don't get me wrong. I'm like terrible at remembering like bird species and flower species. And anyway, I think they're Australian birds. And then, yeah, all these colorful flowers. Again, some of these flowers I think are native to Australia or at least like you can find them in Australia. <laughs> um, but yeah, beautiful flowers, some fruit. Um, it's like just lovely designs, like patterns and rainbows and stuff. And like little tile work again and bananas and mangoes and things so yeah really just pretty and colorful um yeah so i feel very lucky that uh we got to have some really pretty puzzles to do for the competition i just thought you know it, we just got lucky and it's always like i don't know much easier to work on a puzzle that you really enjoy doing so yeah uh definitely tricky though because there was just a lot of flowers and leaves and little patterns and stuff but that being said because there's so much going on in this one I was able to really like sort the sections um, and then when I did this one my time was I think like one hour and like 19 minutes something like that I did actually make a community post on YouTube about that so you can like go see the like uh, actual times there if you want um, but yeah really love it so glad I got to do this one and take it home so yeah gorgeous and then just a few more. Um, so we've got this one here from Gallison. Uh, this is one I did over on Instagram. It's called The Perfect Piece and it's 1000 Pieces. And it's just a really lovely kind of uh, modern, colorful, uh, kind of, I don't know, interesting stylized design of these two ladies, their cat and their jigsaw puzzle. And I guess they're in amongst all these like uh, lovely plants and like butterfly imagery. Um, yeah, it's sort of an interesting mix, like the women and the cat and even like the puzzle pieces are all quite stylized, like very sort of solid blocks of color and like just, yeah, there's not a lot of detail. Like they're, they're sort of, I mean, bits and pieces like their shirts have details and like their earrings and necklace and stuff and even like on the pieces, but they're sort of, yeah, stylized shapes. But then there's a lot of detail in like all the background imagery of like these butterflies and flowers and stuff. So yeah, kind of an interesting mix. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I just thought it was a really just a fun image and just cute and colorful and yeah, just pretty. Um, I always have mixed feelings with Gallison. Um, so this one had like puzzle pieces that had a white paper backing, which is kind of the usual for Gallison, which again, is not my favorite. And um, partly because like I do find with Gallison that a lot of the brand new puzzles that I try do tend to have damaged pieces and that was the case of this. There were some pieces that had that were like a bit bent either in the middle or like on the tabs, things like that with a bit of like, you know, damage to some of the white paper backing. 
Um, but that being said, they don't really have any dust, which is great. Um, I think from memory, the pieces in this, the fit was a bit like more on the loose side. I sort of find their fit a bit inconsistent or it's different across different like uh, piece counts. Like their 500 pieces, I s feel like they tend to hold together, hold together better more. Does that even make sense? They hold together better uh, more than the like 1000 pieces do. Like they're sort of bigger in the 500 like piece count than these ones. These are like more your normal size pieces. So. I don't know, I guess they're just made differently, maybe in, even in different factories, I don't know. But anyway, the pieces are still quite nice and thick, um, but I do find like they tend to be more on the kind of shiny, glossy side. So yeah, sometimes you get a bit of like glare or sheen when doing them, but yeah. But despite like some of the cons, I always uh, forgive Gallison because they just have some really fabulous artwork and work with like some really great artists and this one's no exception. So. Yeah, I always get uh, suckered in by the gorgeous images. So yeah, but yeah, really enjoyed it despite a few issues with the quality. And then, okay. And then we have this one here in this like really annoying box. <laughs> so I don't know why, but it comes in this very like long thin box and then you can't really store it cause it just like opens up. And anyway, the packaging is annoying. So this one is, this is the first time trying this brand and it's by, okay, I've got to figure it out. Uh, I think it's a UK company called All Jigsaw Puzzles and like from what I could gather on their website, they have a mix of like other brands that they sell, but they also make, like have a whole range of puzzles they've made themselves and this is one of them. And this is from their Impuzzable range and this one's called Paper Rainbow and it's 1000 pieces. So uh, yeah, it's this lovely colorful rainbow image and it's made up of like what looks like all little, I guess like a stack of rainbow paper that's been like almost spread or like fanned out or something like that. Or maybe it even is like a big fan. It's sort of got this stitching going across here. Um, yeah, so uh, it's been interesting actually. I did this one over on Instagram and then a couple of weeks after doing it, it's uh, gone totally viral because I did it as a reel. Um, yeah, it's had like nearly I think at this point close to 6 million views like that is just bonkers and like because of that I've gained so many more followers on Instagram it's yeah it's been a little insane uh, but not complaining just it was unexpected so yeah people just really enjoyed seeing a time lapse of me doing this one so there you go uh, but yeah so I enjoyed doing this one just a fun simple rainbow puzzle um, and it was interesting to try a new brand. So uh, yeah, this brand, it's sort of interesting. The pieces are more like thin to medium. Um, and let me have a look actually, cause it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I had to put it in my own bag. Yeah, they're kind of like, oh, they're kind of like medium or thin to medium. And with their like gray uh, paper, like not paper, just a gray board backing. Um, and I remember that there were a couple false fits, which is like, I mean, maybe partly because of like the nature of this design where you've got like, I remember leaving like the sort of bluey indigo sections to last because they were the hardest. So that's probably where like some of the false fits were. There weren't too many, but just a handful. Um, so I guess, you know, on similar colored areas, maybe they don't have enough sort of piece shape variation. So yeah, maybe on a more like, uh, you know, detailed design, you wouldn't have that problem, but they, that being said, they do have a lot of these types of designs. Like there's one that's all just like colored little ball things. So that would, I feel like you would get, definitely get false fits in that. Um, yeah, and then from memory, the like fit of the pieces was eh, like, okay. Like I think if you were gentle, you could pick up sections, but a bit hit and miss. And then I'm trying to remember like, um, yeah, looking at the pieces, like they're quite smooth on top. And, but they're not completely matte, but they're not glossy either. They're sort of in between. Like I'm definitely getting a little bit of sheen and glare on them. And I do remember having a little bit of glare when putting this together. Um, I'm trying to think if there was dust, like this bag doesn't look that dusty. There might've been a little bit, um, but yeah, it was interesting trying a new brand. Um, I think like, I guess if I saw one of their designs that I really liked, I would get it. I think it's like okay enough of a brand 
to like do more of their puzzles. Um, but I really wish they had just normal square boxes or, or just something that wasn't as like annoying. It's fine if you store it flat, I guess, but it still takes up kind of like it's just a weird shape. Um, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, it was interesting to try it and definitely don't regret trying it and uh, yeah, enjoyed the image and uh, so did the internet apparently. So <laughs> there you go. And then we've just got a couple left. Um, so this one here was gifted to me uh, by a publishing company in Australia called Perabo Books. Um, but it's actually by the brand Tenoyus. Um, but Perabo Books here, they stock their puzzles. So, or they like import them into Australia. Um, so yeah, that was nice to be able to try one of their puzzles because I haven't tried any before. And anyway, I really like this cute little box. I thought, <laughs> I thought it was, yeah, very like nice and compact. Yeah, why can't the other one be like this? Anyway, this one, one is called Blooms and Beetles and it's 500 pieces. Um, and yeah, just this very pretty little sort of repeating, well, kind of repeating, semi-repeating, repeated elements of cute little moths and beetles and pretty like plants and flowers and things. So I'm not really sure which way it goes. I think like maybe this way, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter too much, I guess. It's, I guess you could do it either way. Um, but yeah, very pretty and then it's got a bit of sort of a folk art feel to it like all the bugs have pretty little flowers and leaves like sort of illustrated on their wings and the body of the beetles and things like that so yeah very intricate and very pretty um and surprisingly it wasn't too too hard to put together even though there's like a lot of similar elements going on um maybe because it was only 500 pieces but yeah these had white paper backing they were sort of like thin to medium um, thickness. I don't think there was very much dust at all. Um, and surprisingly, yeah, the pieces kind of held together pretty well. And um, yeah, and I, was, I remember being a bit thinking like, okay, surely I'm gonna have false fits because of the sort of repeated pattern a bit um, and similar colors and things. But, and also because the pieces I think only had like a two tab variety, not much like variety in the piece shapes, but surprisingly, I guess they were still unique enough because I didn't really have any false fits. So pretty good. <laughs> Don't know how that works, but yeah, impressed. Um, and yeah, I remember the surface just being kind of smooth and um, I think similar to the box, like not really particularly glossy or anything, but not completely matte, kind of a bit like the previous ones, a little bit in between. But yeah, pretty impressed with this. Um, I think these are pretty affordable here in Australia and probably overseas as well. So yeah, and I noticed um, they definitely have some other cute designs and there's, I think a couple new designs out like a Shelley Davies one. So if you like uh, the Shelley Davies sort of collage images, there's like one out by Tenoyes as well. So I definitely am gonna have to try and get that and add that to my collection because it looks very cool. And I think there was like a cute cat one as well. So. Yeah, um, so I definitely think I'll try more from this brand, especially if the designs are really cute, uh, like the ones I saw. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I have to say about that one. And then the very last one here is one I just did just because someone gave it to me. Um, I believe this is actually, the brand's a bit weird, but I think it just says Kmart Australia. So I guess Kmart here, which does stock some puzzles, made their own puzzle. Um, and it's just called Imposter Puzzle um, Letters. It's just all these letters. And yeah, it was only a hundred pieces, I think. Yep. Um, yeah, hundred pieces. I don't know. It was kind of like, it wasn't that impossible because I solved it pretty quick. I mean, it was only a hundred pieces, but it was actually still pretty easy to like figure out where everything went. Cause I don't know, just, just wasn't that difficult. Um, it was actually a little bit boring. I was like, eh be done yet um, but yeah it was interesting like the pieces are kind of large size and kind of like thicker like medium thickness but the cardboard was still very kind of flimsy so I guess a bit more on the cheap side it is a Kmart brand so I guess you know can't expect like too much um, and yeah I don't think there was too much dust um, the pieces were a little bit I think it was just a cardboard backing and then the top of the pieces was smooth, but it was a little bit more on the shiny side. Not glossy, but a bit, had a bit of sheen. Um, but I mean, look, it doesn't really matter that much because it was only a like a hundred pieces and not a ridiculously difficult, huge puzzle. But yeah, fun to do, but probably just pass it on or declutter it. I don't really see myself doing it again, um, but just a fun little 
kind of quick puzzle to do. So yeah, interesting to try it. Um, so yeah, that is everything for the month of February. Uh, so in a sec, let's look at my favorite and least favorite. So let's quickly talk about my least favorite and favorite for the month of February. So least favorite was pretty easy to choose, uh, end up just being this imposter puzzle just because of the kind of uh, like cheaper quality and also just because it's not, wasn't that exciting. And yeah, I kind of lost interest in it. And I mean, I still completed it, but I just don't see myself doing it again. And it's not really my kind of thing. So yeah, but nothing terrible. Didn't hate it or anything like that. Just not really my thing. And uh, you know, and I just liked all the other puzzles a lot better. And then choosing a favorite was a little tricky because there were definitely a lot of puzzles this month or pretty much all of them I liked a lot. Um, but I've decided to go with this gorgeous love wooden puzzle just because it was just overall a really positive and just very luxurious experience. Um, just a beautiful image, uh, really amazing whimsy pieces and really loved the sort of like intricate details of the reverse of the puzzle. I love how there was like just so much thought like and care put into it and I love that you get the candle, like it's a whole experience. It's just very special. So yeah, I really enjoyed it and would, I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to doing the other two that they sent me and would, you know, even consider buying more for myself in the future or putting them on my wish list or something like that. But yeah, really loved it. Maybe that's why it's called love. Um, yeah, just a beautiful puzzle and a really beautiful experience. In the comments below, let me know what you thought of the puzzles that I did for the month of February and let me know which one was your favorite. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love and for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.